let us now again do this circuit so this circuit has many loops uh, hey there are many this is the loop um, if you go there this is a loop if you go this direction this is a loop um, yeah this is a loop this is a loop yeah maybe i missed the other loop but we're gonna use this loop and this loop so we need to set an equation for loop one let us start again let us consider what is really happening on this loop if we take it out there so this loop is like this we have 10 ohm resistor and we've got 5 ohm resistor we then have 25 ohm resistor okay so what is happening is we have current across 10 ohm resistor which is i1 we then have a current across 5 ohm resistor which we are told that is 0 comma 1 to a so we have current in this direction current in the same direction but what is happening on i2 we have current here which is i2 now this current is now going in the different direction is not following that direction so on this case we wanna take the current across r10 as positive and take this current across i2 as negative because this current is going in the different direction so that means the current across this resistor also is gonna be taken positive only this one that is gonna be taken negative so now that we know that and one more thing that we know we don't have a cell on this loop so our vt is zero so let's go set the equation for loop one um we have zero equal to um the product of current and resistance we will say r10 if they told you that this resistor is r1 use r1 i just like using r10 just um i don't know what got into me with r n uh, ohm resistance but i just like that one plus we'll say r5 and the current across here we are told that is 0 comma 0 1 2 what do we know about the product of resistance and current here it's gonna be negative so here we will have r25 uh, multiplied by i2 so um now what we must do is we must substitute r10 is 10 ohms i don't even look there that is why i like saying r and take the resistance um i1 plus r5 that's 5 ohms um 0 comma 0 1 2 minus um that's 25 ohms i2 so um here we have 10 i1 what is 5 times 0 comma 0 1 2 the calculator knows it's 0 comma 0 6 so we'll have plus 0 comma 0 6 
minus 25 i2. So we'll just subtract 0, 0,06 and subtract also 0, 0,06 here. So here we would have 0 minus 0, 0,06, which leaves us with minus 0, 0,06. If this, they, they cancel, then we'll have 10 i1 minus 25 i2. So this is our first equation for loop one. Now let's go to loop two. Again, let's consider what's happening with loop two. We don't want to, uh, to flip things. So on loop two, we have three resistors, right? We have this, which is 15. We have this, which is 5. We have again, uh, we have this, which is 20, and this, which is 5. So we have a lot of work here. I wish uh, we just chose another loop. So let, let's continue and see what's going to happen here. We are told that the current across R20 is... Um, okay, okay, let, that was not the... My, my purpose was to take the, the loop and we consider what's happening on the loop. So 5 ohm resistor. 20 ohm resistor. And 15 ohm resistor. So now here we've got the current that is across the 15 ohm resistor, which is this direction. And we've got this current, um, which is this direction. And we've got another current which is this direction. So we must remember that any current that is going this direction, like this one, we want to take it as positive. That is exactly what we did there. The current was going that direction, we took it as positive, and the current that was following after it on the same direction it was taken as positive so this current is going in the different direction is not following that direction and this current also is following um, this direction so if this current is negative and this one if the direction of the current we're taking it as negative, so the product of the current and resistance will also be negative. So now we know that, now that we know that, let's make, a, let's set an equation. We know we don't have a potential uh, difference or a cell, so zero will be equal to, we said we're taking the product of resistance and current as positive, so R15 um, will be multiplied by they told us that the current is i1 minus 0 comma 0 1 2 uh, then we come to this one this one is going to be negative so it's minus r20 um, the current is i2 plus 0, 0,012 minus R5. Current across R5, we told that it's 0, 0,012. So let us now substitute the values. That's 15 ohms, I1 minus 0, 0,012. That is 20 ohms. I2 plus 0, 0,012, that is 5 ohms, um, 0, 0,012. So here we'll have 15 
i2. What is 15 times 0, 0, 0,012? I don't know, the calculator knows. It's minus 0, 0,18. And what is 20 times i2? It's 20 i2. And what is 20 times 0, 0, 0,012? I don't know, the calculator knows. Um, it's minus 0, 0,24. What is uh, 0, 0,02 times 5? The calculator told us earlier that is, it's 0, 0,06. Let me confirm to the calculator in case I make a mistake. Yes, it's 0, 0,06. So here we have 0, 18, 0, 24, 0, 0,6. We must add that. 0, 0,06 plus 0, 0,24 plus 0, 0,18. This is uh, minus. This is going to give us minus. Where must I write it? Minus 0, 0,48. We have I2. Wait, that I did a mistake here. We have I1. I1 and I2. So we put back this as it is. 15 I1 minus 20 I2. Let's add 0, 0,48. And let's add 0, 0,48. Now that we are here, I think we have uh, made the equation for, for this thing. It's, zero, it's 15 I1 minus 20. I2. Yes, that's it. That is equation 2. So which one you want to substitute? Um, it all depends with you. Um, so I'm checking here because something makes me worry. We said here We said, how did we get this? Oh, we had this, then we minus that. Okay, okay, let's continue. I'm seeing that that one is negative and this one is positive. So I'm wondering if, is that not going to affect us? So this is our equation two. Which one we're going to substitute? A, a, a new one. Let's make I1 the subject of the formula here. Um, let's transpose um, this minus 20 this side minus 20 i2 right so we will have 0 0,48 plus 20 i2 equal to 15 i1 so we divide by 15 we divide by 15 So we know that now I1 is equal to, um, let's just make it like this for simplicity. Um, don't be afraid of maths. This is all maths. I2, 15. So this is the same as saying I1 is equal to uh, 0, 0,48 divided by 15 plus 20 I2 divided by 15. So we take this, we substitute it there. Let's do that and see. So we will have minus 0, 0,024 
6 equal to 10 um, i1 is that 0 0.48 divided by 15 plus 20 i2 divided by 15 we close the bracket we say minus 25 sorry minus 25 i2 um so 10 times that times there so the calculator knows that 10 times 0 0.48 is um 4.8 divided by 15 so the calculator knows that 10 times 20 is 200 200 i2 i wonder if we divide 200 by 15 what we get let's see divided by 15 uh, it's still a fraction if we divide 200 by 15 so let's leave it there um, minus 25 i2 so now we have an, a, a number here which must be taken to this side um, let's just kill these fractions so 4,8 divided by 15 is zero comma this one will become zero comma zero three two and two hundred divided by fifteen plus thirteen comma three 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 minus okay let's put four minus twenty i two sorry I2 minus 25 I2 so here we still have minus 0 comma 0 06 so this one comes this side so the answer is going to be positive here so let us continue here so we will just add these two um, if I write here, will you still see? Okay, this one will come to this side and be negative. So we will have 0, 0,32 plus 0, 0,06, which is equal to minus 0, 0,38 equal to. So we will have 25 minus 13, 333. So 25 minus 13 comma 333 um, it's gonna be minus 11 six six seven i2 so now we divide by minus 11 comma six six seven minus 11 comma six six seven so i2 is equal to the calculator knows that 0 comma 38 divided by 11 comma 667 is equal to um, 0 comma 0 3 0 comma 0 3 if you are told to round off to three decimal places this would be 0 comma Zero three three A, which stands for MPS. So we now got I two. We can take I two and substitute here to get I I one. So minus zero comma zero six is equal to ten I one. Let me draw a line here. Minus twenty five times 0, 0.033 so the calculator knows that 25 times 0, 0.033 
is equal to mm, the calculator knows that this is equal to 0 0.825 and knows that this remains the same and this remains the same 0 0.6 so now we take this to this side then this one will become positive and subtract on, on that one so this is like saying 0 0.825 minus 0, 0.06 is equal to 10 i1 so the calculator knows that 0, 0.02 0, 0, 0.825 minus 0, 0.06 is equal to 0, uh, 0.7 Six five is equal to ten i one. So what we must do now is we must um, divide by ten. Divide by ten. Um, I don't have a space. Um, 